For over 30 years, the mice have been sneaky, the snake has tried in vain to catch them, and the fish has blown bubbles to be caught by generations of children below. I just remember coming to Cheltenham on special shopping trips with my mum and just being amazed that all these bubbles were coming out and watching the balls drop down. It's just lovely. It's nice having his experience of something I've been through as well. It's a great attraction for the kids and so on. Whenever you come here, there's always children running around and enjoying it. The famous clock has a famous designer, Kit Williams. He wanted a timepiece that was magical, theatrical and fun. Everybody's excited by bubbles, the colour and that strange movement they have and then the popping of them. Uh, and so, yeah, and, and, the, and the, the painting, which is the, goes round and round the uh, front. So there were lots of different aspects to it. And even the music, you know, everybody, you, you hear that music and you go there and you see it all happening in the big fish. Kit has a history of capturing the imagination. In the 70s, he wrote Masquerade that through a series of clues led readers to a jewelled golden hair that he'd buried. And as for the clock, well, time has taken its toll and things need fixing, like the once infinite stream of golden eggs that's now dried up. That was originally inspired by a simple magic trick. You keep coming down and down, and as they pass into the clock itself, then the ball disappears and goes round and round the rest of the clock, and the empty cup goes back up again, up into the duck, where as it goes over the top, it's fallen down again. So yeah. it, 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 that's a simple trick. But time here is now stood still. A new and improved clock will soon be back to once again grant wishes to everyone who catches a bubble. Back in January, the old golden eggs were thrown away and the famous fish blew its last bubbles before being carefully brought down to earth for a wash and brush up. And so in this busy London studio, the beloved fish is getting its much needed TLC. The eyes weren't working, the bubble machine was leaking into the belly of the fish, which was then leaking through the wood and uh, stripping the varnish and damaging the wood underneath. So we've flipped it over, sanded it back and like re-varnished it and we've still got another maybe four or five coats to do so that it remains as shiny as the rest of the fish. And one of the challenges of this project has been the lack of original plans, which no longer exist. We had to work out what everything did and why it was done that way. And I think there's been a lot of people over the years adding to it and tweaking it. So trying to trace that back and then uh, sort of revamp it so that it, it all works, it's been fun. And then there are the mice who pop out and annoy the snake. A lot of Kit Williams' designs were compromised back in the 80s due to the budget. So now Kit's original vision is finally being realised and the mice look more mouse-like with some secret features. As the mice get pushed out of the clock by a piston, the tips of their noses open the door. So um, the, the fibreglass will wear down over time. So what we've done is we've made a little removable nose um, and we're going to cast this in rubber so that it won't wear down. And that master mouse is then used to make a new silicon mould from which all the new mice are being cast in fibreglass. I am pleased with that. It's always a, a slightly hair-raising moment when you take something out of a mould for the first time. And, uh, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It's come out perfectly. Now the Regent Arcade don't want us to show you everything that's being worked on because they want to save it for the unveiling. So today we can only really give you a sneaky peek of some of the work. Or should that be a sneaky beak? I know, but there's plenty more to do, including a new sunny hour hand, and the old snake is getting a new skin to chase the new mice. So there'll be plenty to see in the fullness of time. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, London.